Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Book Workshop. Now, recently I've made two videos about Festool's cordless drill drivers. The first of which was about the CXS and TXS, the small drill drivers, and the second one was about the C18. Now, I said at the very beginning of the first of those videos that I would then bring all of the Festool cordless drill drivers together that I could get my hands on, and they're lined up behind me. Now, let me just name these drills. To start with, here is my own CXS, and this is the original CXS, not the new version. Then we have the TXS and the CXS, which you saw in a recent video of mine. These are both the current up-to-date models. Then there's the C18, and again, you'd have seen a video recently about this. Here I have the PDC 18 oblique 4, uh, which I've had for a while, and then there's the BHC 18. And I'm now going to describe each of these in just a little bit more detail, and I'm going to try and make comparisons uh, to help you uh, make up your mind which of these you might need. Now this is my original CXS. I've had it for uh, a number of years now, I think at least three years now, and I had uh, made a video about this quite a while ago. Now this really and truly is my go-to drill driver. I'm quite happy to use it for screws up to five millimeters in diameter and about 40 uh, millimeters long. Uh, and four millimeter diameter screws up to 50 millimeters long. So it can handle some quite reasonable sized screws. I would use a 20 millimeter Forstner bit with this, even though Festool say you shouldn't, I would still uh, probably do that. And I can certainly use my full range of brad point bits up to the maximum size I've got, which is 12 millimeters. And that's all drilling into wood, of course. Its battery is the old style battery, and this will not fit in the or TXS. Uh, however, the batteries from the new style CXS and TXS will fit this. Now, the new style CXS and also the TXS are essentially the same machine, but just with a different uh, type of grip. And I would suggest that if you're thinking of getting one of these that you should go and try one, feel it in your hand and make up your mind whether you go for the TXS or uh, the CXS. Now the great thing about both of these is that when you buy them in the UK there's only one version and that is the set version. So you end up getting uh, the angle adapter, the Jacobs chuck which is good up to 10 millimeters uh, and also the uh, Centrotech uh, chuck and also a Centrotech uh, bit hole and that all comes in a CIS1 sustainer. So I think that represents really good value for money for a drill driver that most people would use as their go-to machine. And the next in the line is the C18 and I really do recommend if you're considering getting one of these uh, that you go and try it before you buy it. And the reason for that is that the style is quite different from anything that many of us would have seen before. Now this is the only one of the drill drivers with which I've been able to try out the eccentric chuck. Uh, there's not one available for the uh, CXS or TXS, but I understand there is one available uh, for the PDC 18, which we'll see shortly. This eccentric chuck, I, I really am a fan of it, and I really recommend that if you're going for one of the larger drills, then get one which has the option of the eccentric chuck. I really like that. Now, the PDC 18 is a phenomenal drill driver, and I say that because I've had this one for a very long time, and I've used it quite a lot on some quite arduous tasks. It's got four main speed settings, but of course it's variable because of the trigger uh, within each of those. And this particular drill driver, I believe, will give you a top speed greater than any other drill on the market in the UK today. It has a hammer function, which means that if you want to drill with a masonry bit into brickwork uh, or into wall, uh, then you can switch it into that position. It comes with uh, an auxiliary handle, uh, which fits on uh, the boss, which is here, which is the final drill I've been able to get my hands on is the BHC 18. And this is uh, really the sort of ultimate cordless uh, impact driver. It has just one speed setting, but the trigger is progressive. Uh, it can go forwards and backwards. It has a hammer, 
setting here or it has a drilling setting there. It has an SDS plus chuck and it has a, a vibration dampening system in it whereby uh, there's some uh, movement possible between the handle section and the battery section and the, and the actual motor and chuck which uh, can move relative to those other parts. But this is a specialist, I'm drilling masonry holes all day, I'm drilling into concrete all day type of drill and it does come with the auxiliary handle. Now I've now split these into three groups. We've got the small ones here, larger ones here and the odd one out which is the hammer drill here. And I'm now going to whistle through the characteristics so that you can compare them in case you're thinking of getting one of these and one of those or whatever. First of all, brushless motors. Brushless C18, brushless PDC18, brushless BHC18. So three brushless machines. These are not brushless. Now the advantage of brushless is that brushless motors consume less power, which means that the motors do not get as hot, which means that you need less vents around the drill uh, to keep things going, which means not so much dust is going to get into the working parts which means the machine lasts longer. And of course your batteries will last longer as well because battery life is dependent on the number of times you recharge a battery. So if it's taking less power, your batteries are gonna last you a lot longer. Now let's talk maximum speed. The CXS TXS 0 to 1300 RPM is the full range. The C18, the full range is 0 to 1500 RPM. Now this is the star as far as speed goes. This has a speed range of 0 to 3800 RPM. And as I said earlier, I believe this drill as a cordless drill driver has the fastest top speed of any on the UK market, perhaps of the world market, I don't know. The top speed of the BHC is 0 to 1100 RPM. Yeah, you wouldn't expect that to try and outrun a machine like this at all. Now let me just talk about batteries. These three machines take the same style battery. It's this style of battery, which you've seen many times before. Uh, and that's the 18 volt battery, although there are some in this style which go down, uh, certainly to 15 volts, perhaps lower, uh, but it's that style of battery they take. The uh, TXS, CXS, the old one like mine took this uh, 1.5 ampere hour uh, 10 volt battery, uh, but the new ones uh, take a 2.6 ampere hour battery, uh, which looks like this, and it has its own special charger. This is the same charger for the old style CXS as it is for the new style CXS and TXS. So 2.6 ampere hour, uh, just over 10 volts. Now these machines uh, are uh, nominally 18 volts, but they'll run on a 15 volt battery with absolutely no problem at all. Uh, the batteries available are many. Uh, now it's quite usual for a 5.2 ampere hour 18 volt battery to be supplied as the norm. If you can get them, uh, get the new Airstream batteries because they charge much more quickly and the Airstream charger uh, has a cooling system through it such that uh, it means the battery can be charged more quickly and much more safely. And you may recall uh, in not so long ago I introduced you to the uh, Bluetooth batteries which can be fitted which means that you can have the battery talking to your dust extractor telling your dust extractor to switch on the moment uh, you press the trigger on the cordless tool. Now, as far as I know at the moment, the maximum ampere hour for a 18 volt battery is 6.2 ampere hours. Uh, the norm though, I think is still 5.2 uh, for delivery with most machines. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is the weight of these machines. The CXS, TXS are 0.9 kilograms. The C18, is 1.8 kilos. The PDC-18 is 2 kilograms and the BHC-18 is 2.6 kilos. There's no comparison then between the CXS and TXS. They're the same weight, they're the same machine. The only real comparison is the layout and you've got to try one of these to decide which is the one that you would prefer of the two. But at that weight, at 0.9 kilos, this is a machine uh, that you're going to be able to use all day, every day, above your head, anywhere in awkward places, and you will not get fatigued. 
Now, when it comes to these two, and in, in a sense they are equivalent, uh, you really do need to go and feel them in your hand. When you grab hold of these two machines, like so, I would doubt whether anyone would think that this is the lighter machine. And the reason I say that is that this is 200 grams heavier. And if you look at the line of where you're holding it, it goes more or less through the center of the battery. And that center line is going almost through the center line of the motor. And so this is quite a well-balanced drill driver. Now compare that to the C18, which incidentally I do like, I really do like this machine, but uh, its balance is different and it may suit some people more than others. Here's the center line of where your hand is, and the center of gravity is forward of that. Now, you can argue that, of course, when you're using a drill driver, uh, you've, you're putting pressure on the tip there. Therefore, uh, where the center of gravity is, is irrelevant. And actually, I think that has uh, some merit to it, that argument, because I find the C18 to be quite a nice drill to have in your hand. However, if you're using a machine all day, every day, and you want power, and you want uh, a nice balance, then this probably wins uh, out of the two. Now, I'm, I'm sorry, this has been a fairly dry sort of video, but it is really aimed at people who are trying to make a choice. Now, if you're a hobbyist, and you're not doing really seriously heavy work all the time, then I really would recommend you get yourself either a CXS or a TXS. If you're a professional and you can only afford one drill driver, then I would suggest you look closely at these two. Probably the one that would win it for versatility as a single drill driver, because you can only afford one, is the PDC-18. It's got the impact function, it's got the highest speed of any uh, cordless drill driver that I'm aware of. And it also comes with all the accessories, including the eccentric uh, uh, adapter if required. However, you might prefer the layout of the C18, who knows? Now, again, going back to these two groups, if you have a little more money and can afford two, then I would suggest the combination should be either a CXS or TXS together with the PDC18, because then you've got the masonry capability uh, the high speed, as well as the go-to, I'm going to use this most of the time, capability of the smaller drill. Now, if you're rich and famous, you're certainly going to have a CXS or TXS at the bottom of the range. And you could then say to yourself, well, look, uh, my masonry oblique concrete drilling is important to me as well. So I'm definitely going to have uh, the BHC-18. That means then you no longer might need the PDC, and you might then choose the C18. So you end up with a CXS, TXS, a C18, and the big BHC. And if you've just sold all of your Facebook shares, then perhaps you'll get one of each. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.